Some creatures fight winter with fur, others migrate thousands of miles, and then there's a tiny brown frog from North America that just stops existing for months and somehow gets away with it. The wood frog doesn't hibernate like a bear, it doesn't burrow underground like a toad, and it doesn't head south like your uncle after a family reunion. It just lets the cold kill it. Well, almost. When the first serious frost hits, this frog goes full statue mode. Heart, silent, blood, not moving, lungs, as useful as a brick. It's basically a tiny amphibian paperweight. About two-thirds of the water in its body freezes into solid ice. Its skin gets crunchy. Pick it up and it might actually clink if you tap it. The part that should make your jaw hit the floor? This isn't a fluke accident, it's the plan. The wood frog's body pulls a chemistry trick that could make a cryogenics lab jealous. Right before everything shuts down, it floods itself with glucose, yes, sugar, in massive doses. This sugar acts like biological bubble wrap, stopping the ice crystals from shredding its cells apart. Think of it like filling your veins with sweet antifreeze. Except it's not deadly, and you don't need a mechanic. All winter long, buried under leaves and snow, it just sits there, frozen solid, while blizzards roar overhead. No heartbeat, no breathing, no brain activity. And yet, it's not dead. It's on pause. Come spring, the snow melts, the temperature rises, and the frog thaws out. Heart starts beating, blood starts flowing, eyes open, and just like that, it's back stretching its legs like it just woke up from a lazy afternoon nap instead of a months-long death freeze. Within hours, it's hopping around, finding food, and getting on with life like winter never happened. Scientists still can't fully wrap their heads around how it survives this without damage. If humans tried the same thing, we'd just crack like an ice cube dropped on the floor. The wood frog isn't just surviving in cold places like Alaska and Canada. It's thriving there. It's the earliest frog to wake up in spring often starting to breed while snow is still on the ground. The rest of the animal kingdom is still yawning, and this frog is already handing out wedding invitations. It's a living, hopping reminder that nature sometimes skips the fight-or-flight rule and adds a third option, freeze, literally. And honestly, if a frog can handle being a popsicle for months and come back fine, maybe you can handle your Monday mornings without complaining. Now before you go, let's make a deal. You hit that subscribe button, and I promise not to attempt freezing myself just to prove a point. This is Earth Neverse, slowly building a video nature encyclopedia. Stick around, subscribe, and let's explore together.